Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com and in today's video I'm going to share with you 12 and a half, yes you heard me right, 12 and a half PLR or private label rights tips from the pros. Now, if you're somebody who is really pressed for time, okay, you know, one of the biggest challenges that people have in their business is coming up with consistent content for growing their business because remember you got to build an audience and engage your audience before you sell to your audience and that means you've got to be creating content on a consistent basis whether you're doing it once a week a couple times a week or daily you have to make sure that you have fresh content to be getting people to keep coming back and building that following but what the top earners do is they leverage a way of getting content and they do what is called private label rights which is PLR and what this is is this is content you can use as your own you can use it just as is or modify it and you get to claim authorship hence the name private label rights so in order to use private label rights there are 12 and a half tips that I want to share with you that will help you leverage private label right content in a way that can help you get more leads, reps, and customers for your business with ease. So let's get right to it. Tip number one is I want you to create a private label rights folder. So whenever you're searching for private label right content, it's going to go right into that folder. You can have it on your desktop, laptop, or you can even have it as an external drive. This is a huge time saver, okay, because everything is in the right spot. You also want to make sure that you're saving all of the conditions with your private label rights um, products because this can avoid a possible lawsuit. So let me give you an example. Let's say you buy private label right product and you're going to you know and you bought it and you were just using it for yourself now if you get confused and accidentally use the product as your own thinking that you can when you can't you could get a very nasty cease and desist letter or even possibly a lawsuit so it's always good to have everything organized and in one spot tip number two is when you get your private label right content and this is what I like to do is when I'm looking at private label right content I'm taking it and I'm really organizing my folder into a couple of key um, subfolders so I know what to be using okay so these subfolders are organized into these groups I have a premium group this is um, private label rights content that you're going to sell for a profit we also have private label right content for lead generation so this would be content instead of me developing content to give away to build my list I'm going to use this type of content to give away so this is a real nice way to uh, uh, save time and you can get your list built quickly then I have what's called web content so I can take private label right content and if I know that um, within the terms of the product if I can use this as free web content I will use this for blog posts and I will also use it to create videos for my YouTube channel and then finally bonuses okay so if I'm promoting some other affiliate products what I can do is I can find some private label right products I can make some tweaks to them and I can offer them as bonuses to tip the scale in getting people to want to buy what I am promoting for an affiliate off tip number three you want to add pictures to your private label right content most don't and so you want your prospects and customers to consume your information so people love looking at visual content so you can go to places such as pexels.com pixabay.com or unsplash dot com and you can go in and find royalty free images that you can add to that private label right content that can make it stand out and when you get your prospects to consume your information here's what's going to happen three things number one they're going to remember you 
making it much more likely that they're not they're going to follow you they're going to become a loyal follower who will eventually buy from you they're going to learn from the information enabling them to put what they've learned to use make a difference in their lives and this again makes it more likely that they're going to be a long-term customer for you and third they're going to be less likely to ask for a refund because they're enjoying your content more and using it so that's three big pictures so adding those pictures is also going to separate you from your competition tip number four record your PLR product information okay you can do this in a couple of ways some people you know most private label rate products are going to be like a digital ebook or articles what you can do is you can add more value by going and you can create go in and record an audio an mp3 of the information okay you can also do um, a video about it as well make some slides you know one of the things people love is listening to books on tape you could literally take a plr book and you could read it out loud okay and that can be added as something perceived value okay some people will you know you can hire somebody to do it for you or sometimes as part of the package you can get uh, the actual audio with it but I prefer as a way to brand yourself and to build the know like and trust factor that you record your own voice because then people are actually seeing and hearing you if you're worried about it you know you can tell them that a friend recorded it for you or you hired a professional but for most people I know that when I'm listening on audible I like listening to the author's voice reading it tip number five blog posts you can take your private label write content and turn them into quick blog posts okay so you can use that to add new posts to your blog and what you can do and this is what I love to do is I can break up chapters into small segments and then I just add my own introduction and conclusion and that helps it personalize it and then I look at it and I try to tweak it a little bit so it sounds more like me talking okay you want to keep this um, you know also maybe putting it into a story format because people love stories so you now have like an outline and you can use that outline that content to help you write something compelling you can also make sure that when you have uh, PLR content and you do it with blog posts you can schedule this to go out in advance maybe you're gonna uh, be gone for a week on vacation you can find private label write content that your audience will love you can schedule those blog posts to go out and schedule them ahead of time that way people know that you're still creating content and they're they know none the wiser that you're on vacation tip number six add modules to training courses so maybe as you're going along the way you're offering uh, a paid course all right and here's an example of how you can do this um, a friend of mine is creating a course as I write as I share this uh, training with you and one of his modules is on how to use AdWords but he's not an AdWords expert so what he's doing is he's searching for the best and most up-to-date private label rights courses out there that cover AdWords and he bought the rights to give it to his students so he didn't have to pass it off as, as on his own but what he's doing is he's telling the students he's not an expert which is why he bought the rights for them to be able to have the course so and I really think his students are going to love it because it's a much more thorough training than he could give on the topic and it is a time saver rather than sitting and spending weeks or months writing up uh, learning about it he's striking where the iron's hot having an expert teach his students and now he's got his product out there and he can make more money tip number seven membership sites so you can use private label right content for membership sites again you want to make a sale okay would you like to make a sale and get paid over and over again that's what the beauty is of membership sites you can start a membership site and then keep your members happy with plenty of valuable and usable content 
The problem with this model is the continual need for more content and you need to make sure that you've got high quality private label right content that you can tap into that you can be giving to your um, to your members okay so there's a couple of ways you can do this you could have a paid Facebook membership group you can have like um, a paid premium uh, email list I know Ben Settle um, he has one he's a top email uh, marketing expert he has a paid email subscriber list that people pay $97 a month to learn the best email marketing secrets okay so that's an example of how you can use membership sites you can have like your own website or if you're not that technically proficient you can use a, a private paid Facebook group or you can do a paid email newsletter okay and so what's really nice when you do these membership sites you can schedule content ahead of time and let it drip feed on a daily weekly or monthly basis tip number eight use videos you've heard that people do this business with people who they know like and trust you can create a video slideshow using PowerPoint and when you do this you want to do it structure it in this manner with a title introduction question content and then followed by a call to action and then that call to action could be getting them on your list you can get them you know refer them to a product that people should check out um, really really helpful with doing video tip number nine create authority posts so this is a more in-depth blog post that is so comprehensive it will take people by surprise and make some wonder wow I can't believe I'm reading this for free so what you can do is buy a private label right product that has a core theme that includes multiple topics and then what you can do is create multiple formats that you can put on your blog post including audio and even video and that is something that uh, Google really loves too because that will also get you ranked higher in the search engines tip number 10 create loyal subscribers imagine if your subscribers are looking for your emails and they don't receive an email fall off or your list um, or they're emailing you to get back on your list here's what you can do to create loyal subscribers with private label rights you can create a page each week where you give away something for free it needs to be directly related to your niche and it has to have some value it could be a tip sheet insider information an ebook but it all is going to depend on your niche and then each week that you do this you create a new uh, link for the page this way people must be subscribed to your list to find the page and they must open your email every week to get the link now the key is is you don't want to use the same link twice and leave each freebie up for seven days before taking it down this way someone can't uh, subscribe and then decide to pick up all the freebies two months down the road they must open your emails to get the link tip number 11 sell more affiliate products this one's so simple yet it can be crazy effective and help you make more money in the process when you're promoting an affiliate product put together some bonuses created from private label right content for everyone who purchases from your affiliate link this can not only help you make more sales but it can also help you win affiliate contests too and you can use bonuses made from private label right content to promote your own products as well tip number 12 one of my favorite ways is to use an autoresponder series a lot of times you have to be writing to your email list every single day and quite frankly you can get writer's block okay and articles or ebooks can be broken down into small bite-sized pieces and your emails don't need to be long but they need to deliver value and that value can be a piece of news a method for getting a result or even something that entertains just make sure that it's on topics your re readers would want to hear about and don't forget to throw in your product recommendations so if you use PLR the correct way you could create up to a year's worth of emails in a few days and then just be done with it finally the half tip is creating a free or paid newsletter now imagine having a few hundred subscribers each paying you ten dollars a month for an electronically delivered newsletter that you put together in one afternoon 
that's not a bad deal. You choose the private label right content you want in the newsletter. You could change the headlines, short introductions, or personalize as you see fit. You can offer a free version, then upsell them to the paid version, then rinse and repeat. Each month you get new subscribers and you put out a new, new, new newsletter. If you price your newsletter competitively and provide great information, people will stick with you for months and even years on end. Now, did you find these tips valuable? If you did, leave a comment and share. If you want to know where to get the best private label right content out there, I have shopped for private label right content. And let me tell you, it, you got to be careful because sometimes there's a lot of crap out there. But I want to share with you a, um, a private label right product that I think will really help you, especially if you're geared toward the internet marketing, online marketing niche. Um, and what you do is you're going to get um, you're going to get content every month that you can use as private label rights. So you can either use it as is, or you can modify it and and uh, put your name on it, do whatever you want with it. But you can go and check this out. It is such high quality. Go to www.drlisamthompson.com forward slash best PLR. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.